This is a review for the Lipthees Barbershop 360 mirror. What I've got on camera is the version that comes with the LED installed. You can find this on Amazon for right around $50. I'll drop the link in the description. This is a folding three mirror system intended for use at home as a self haircut kit. Like I said, this version comes with LEDs and they're mounted in the central mirror. When folded up, you're looking at a 12 by eight inch form factor with a weigh in just under three and a half pounds. When unfolded, you can conceivably stretch it out to three feet wide because each mirror is the same width. The backside hook extends up to 20 inches so you can hang it off your door. Alternatively, there are two wall-mounted hooks included if you prefer that method. If you order the LED option like me, you get a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. The mirrors are, in fact, real glass mirrors. Okay, so should you buy? Yeah, I'm on board with it. If you're someone who wants to start cutting your own hair at home, I can't push this hard enough. Next to buying your own clippers, this is probably the most important purchase you can make. Of course, the budget alternative is picking up a $5 to $10 mirror at Walmart, and I had considered rigging up some kind of makeshift setup like that. As is often true in life, you get what you pay for, and I'm so happy I spent a little extra cash for this application-specific mirror. If you're someone who already cuts their own hair and you're happy with the process, maybe you don't need this. Maybe you've got something better. Let us know in the comments if you prefer another product. I was worried from the get-go that this was going to be some cheap, gimmicky Amazon product that winds up being really poor quality. For the most part, I was wrong. The mirrors are real, the integrated LED really livens up the experience, and the substantial weight is satisfying to hold. You can tell there are some areas where they did cut costs, however. The plastic body feels dainty and hollow. If this had been made from aluminum, for example, you could probably throw a lifetime warranty on the thing. The hook and its telescoping arms also feel very lightweight and fragile, and this is probably the biggest problem with the design. I'm kind of worried these will break easily. This is a big problem, because without the ability to door mount, the mirror loses most of its appeal. Yeah, you can wall mount, but this thing is so good because it's versatile and transportable. If they had beefed up the hooks, rods, and frame and cast them all from a lightweight metal alloy, I would happily pay $75 to $100 for something that would last a lifetime. Anyway, the hinges seem to be good quality and they hold the position you set the mirrors well. The extendable rods on the mirror mean this should support people of a wide range of heights. My door is 6 foot 8 inches tall, which is pretty standard, and when the rods are fully extended, the top of the mirror hangs 5 feet off the ground. This means that people as short as 5 feet should be able to use the mirror system with no issues, assuming they have normal sized doors. So most men should be okay. But if you're under five feet tall, I would recommend thinking about how you're going to wall mount this thing or just find another product. Sorry, short kings. While we're on the topic of mounting, I want to mention that I absolutely cannot close my door while this hangs on it. I can't remember if this was something explicitly advertised or even just implied by their marketing, but I really thought this was going to be viable. Maybe I just manifested the Mandela effect here and projected my own needs onto the product. Regardless, I'm pretty disappointed. It doesn't matter which side of the door you mount on, or whether the door swings in or out. The plastic hooks are just much too thick to fit in the gap between a closed door and the frame. It would be so much more convenient if I could just leave the thing hanging up, and I don't think it would be impossible to design a metal hook that's both strong and thin. In other news, they claim you get access to free haircut tutorials on their website. I suppose this is true, but I should point out that their Self-Cut Academy page is just a list of embedded links to their YouTube videos. I'm sure it's all good content, but it's not like it's anything exclusive to customers as far as I can tell. They claim you should get three hours of battery life from the LEDs. This isn't something I'm willing to test outright so as to avoid needlessly draining the battery fully and hurting long-term health. That being being said, the lights easily last the full hour I usually spend messing around with the back of my head. If you're someone who's more efficient than me, you should easily get several haircuts on a charge. Although most people have at least a few weeks between haircuts, so you might just charge it every time anyway. One last comment I want to make is to set reasonable expectations. There really is no end-all be-all for self-haircuts. Even though this mirror system is great, it's not a perfect view of the back of your head like another person would have and you're still gonna have to struggle and learn to work with the disorientation of the changing perspective. There probably isn't a perfect replacement for a visit to the barber, but this will get you pretty dang close. 
I think that's all there is to say about this product. I'm satisfied with my purchase and I would recommend. I dropped the Amazon link below if you're interested. Like and comment with any questions. I'm more than happy to help and I'm sure I missed something. If you have any tips or comments about cutting your own hair, please let everyone know. Please let me know if I can improve these videos in any way. If you'd like to support the channel, you should of course subscribe. We're trying to get to 1000. But if you'd like to go above and beyond, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. I appreciate every one of you. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. Tell me it's good. Tell me it's gold. Tell me you like breaking the mold. Tell me it's good. Tell me it's gold. Tell me you like breaking the mold. Drawing on a canvas, making us an atlas. If you want to tap in, we can find Atlantis. I've been on my real